Here we go. These are two variable equations. Okay. So first you earn, we get told that you are going to earn $8 an hour, which is fab. So complete this table to show us how much money you earn for various times. So for one hour worked, that's going to be one times eight per hour. So you will have earned $8. For two hours, two times eight is going to give me $16. Three times eight was $24. Four times eight gave us $32. And for five hours work, it was $40. Bingo, fantastic, great work. Then remember from that previous slide, we realized if we're writing an equation for this, then we might say something like eight times the number of hours equals the amount of money. So here, if I said eight, times h equals 32 and h equals the hours worked, then when I have earned $32, h will equal, so 32, h will equal 4. Because when I said 8 times 4 for my h equals 32. And 32 equals 32 so that works so that's how I could write a simple one variable equation for this ratio or relationship now let's clock this remember we said we can graph it to start showing us how it works to make it easier to make those calculations and Martin did a great job of explaining that this y-axis this axis on our graph is always called the y-axis the vertical um, axis is the y axis and the horizontal axis is the x axis and that's what we just call this line and this line so that's my y axis that's my x axis now labeling my graph what is going up here and you can see that it's going up in increments and in iterations of eight it goes up by eight and what goes up by eight it's the money earned so this is all about all about the money, money, money. There we go, there's my money. And then on this side, my y-axis, what was this? It went up by one, two, three, four, five. And if I look up here, that's my hours worked. So this is the hours that I worked. So I'm starting to make this graph a lot easier to read. Now I wanna just look at something here. If we take the time to notice, every time we went across, we went across by one, and the amount of money that we got every time we worked one hour was eight dollars. And each time it was one hour and eight more dollars. So notice when I went two, it was actually 16. And you can see the pattern here, because then I go across each time I done it, I went across for another hour, then I earned another $8. And I see that pattern, I can just keep going. One and eight and one and eight. And it takes me to my total of 40, 32, 24, 16, eight and zero. When I had done no work, I had no money. Okay, so I can see there is a, a whole lot of information in that graph. Now, oh, sorry, you couldn't see all of those bits of information, but I'm pretty sure it was clear enough. So now let's just check one thing here. Can I write my original equation? Can I make that a two variable equation that explains the whole relationship, not just one particular time? But remember we said, hmm, so you earn, earn $8 per one hour and I can convert that and say okay right so I have eight times the number of hours is going to equal the money I can earn so eight times the number of hours equals the money I earn which makes sense I said five times eight, the number of hours, equaled 40, and that would work here. So can you see how 
my H, my H equals the hours worked, and my M equals the money earned. Okay, I hope that's clear. Good job, guys.